Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another episode of this lonely musketeer here on the extinction map. So in today's episode I wanted to farm some element. The server is pretty low pop right now. So I wanted to go farm some element right now. I did. I have been pre-farming some stuff and I just wanted to thank you for those of you that tuned into the live stream yesterday. Much appreciated. But I need I've been saving element for not only for turrets, but I want to do a big big project It's gonna be a secret. I'm not gonna say anything of, as of now But I have been saving a lot of element and I'm kind of getting ready for um, next times to weekend I'm gonna be farming a lot not only for bullets, but also for um, CP and all that stuff because I want to do a big project You guys will see what I mean once I get all the stuff together. So we're just gonna grab these homeboys right here and let's take out the mana armor and then I figured out how to do this solo now There is many ways on how to do this solo, but this has to be by far the easiest way I figured out how to do Okay, so this guy is gonna fucking all right. Thank you So this is by far the easiest way and apparently I'm lagging. Oh, yeah I've been collecting the Santa Claus things and I did get some VPs for those of you that tune into the live stream you would see that I did get some of this. I crafted it with my girlfriend's character so we could get a little bit more of an oomph on it. But let's go. The server population is pretty low right now. So I want to get going so we could actually get some good, you know, a better chance of farming this. Oh, okay, let's go. So number one thing, if you want to farm element nodes, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, I would say bring a Velorasses or Velonopsters or Velos one at least with decent amount of hp the melee doesn't really matter because he's going to be doing 20 to 22 damage when since you're not riding him if you were riding him then yes of course the melee would matter but for now we just want him with hp so we're gonna go around looking for this thing the second thing oh we look at this is an element i think this might be the one we're looking for boys and girls is this a 1000 yes so this is the element node we're looking for you want to look for this 1000 okay you want a mana armor, <coughs> a mana, or how people are calling them, manas, whatever the hell they're called. Whatever the hell people are calling them, manas, mana armors, whatever. Okay, so we're lagging. You want to slap down homeboy right here. Oh, what? Oh, no, that's not good. I did it. Ah, shit, I forgot. Okay, this is bad. It might die. Okay, so don't do what I did. You should wait. But this is the good thing about having, um... Oh boy, this is the good thing about having this, um, doing a 1000 one. Why? Because of the fact that they don't, um, nothing crazy spawns. You see this T-Rex here because corrupted T-Rex because they were already here. So it's not because they spawn. Only thing you're going to be seeing with the 1000, which are the easiest ones, all you're really going to be seeing is this. Like, you're just going to be seeing like Dilos. You're just going to be seeing like a Stego here and there. You're not gonna be seeing crazy stuff. So apparently my ice breath is not working. Okay, but continuing what I was trying to say, don't bring an Anki. Now, it's a popular thing that people are saying, but I'm sure a lot of people have come to the realization that no, this is not the way to do it. <coughs> don't bring an Anki. An Anki would only do damage to the node. That's all it will do. It will not actually harvest any element whatsoever. The way that you want to do is you want to bring a pick, a high rarity pick. Now, thankfully, I got this pick during the time that um before they nerfed the gotchas. So this is a max damage pick. Um, the durability is not the best, but it is a max damage pick, which is perfect. That's what we need. We need more damage. More damage means better harvest, right? All right, so we're just going to get down here because apparently some of these things are getting stuck over here. This is the dialogues that we're looking for. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so apparently, like, where the hell is the waves? Three hostiles. Okay, so some of them have died. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. <coughs> Come on, stop lagging. So, when you want to kill these, you want to start killing them with manos, mana garmers, whatever the hell. So, sometimes the thing about this is that they will get glitch or stuck inside the element nodes. So, this is why I tell you to ride these guys. Because then you would just start doing the ice breath, get really close to the node, and then start shooting down wars. Like, looking down, shooting at them, and it's going to kill them. Now, 
of course, if you were, if this guy was up in turn mode, he would shoot whatever the hell is coming. So you want to put one. That's why I bring two because you put one on each side. So I put this one on this side and then I would put the other one on this side. That way, I, all I have to focus is from two entries from the front and the back. OK, you see just like that, because for some reason, the ice press glitch, as you know, this game is this map, I should say, is buggy. So until they fix this shit, like you kind of have to just deal with it. Now, this is the base thing to farm during times two it is times two right now so after i finish this it's gonna you're gonna see a whole different scenario so i kind of want to finish this kind of like fast pace it so you guys see and just cut a lot of this stuff out because as you can see sometimes this thing glitches and it would say there's one hostile but i don't know where the hell this hostile is um i think what it is is that these um <coughs> the corrupted just kind of spawn and then they just go directly towards the element node. And then what ends up happening? You see what I mean? What ends up happening is that if there's structures in the way, they'll just get stuck on the structures. So look, boom, we killed it. That's it. Wave one is over. Now there's six waves. Even though it says five, wave zero counts. So it's sixth wave, wave one. So now this is the wave where a lot of Tyrannodons start spawning in. So we got to keep an eye on this. How many hostiles do we have coming? Okay, 30 hostiles. So now we got to pay attention. This is what I need this asshole to be up and awake. So then, because now these Tyrannodons are going to start coming. There you go. And as you can see, my ice breath doesn't work. Because it's weird. It's like in an angle, so it doesn't pick it up. And I know that you can't shoot back from it. But look, if it gets really close to me, I get him. But I know that they nerfed the range on it. But dude, I'm like, I'm like right here shooting and it's not like, you know. It's not the range, it's literally like the, the thing itself that is bugged. Okay, so I'm guessing some of these Terry's got stuck somewhere. Oh, here they come. So now they're coming from this way. So now that we know where they're coming from, we could just shoot them down from here. So you can know, like, that's it. We shoot them down from here, die. You know, die, die. So I think I'm just going to fast pace this. And as you can see, it's almost time for me to um, summon the next um, Velo. So about time so then i could put him this way so if i miss these guys you know remember the less damage that the element node takes the more element or dust you could get now that's key we want that we want more element dust means more element we could craft normally on times two on a good run if i defended this really well i would get anything between 20 20 plus element which for a solo player, like I said, that's amazing. Plus, if I have my gacha going on in the base, <coughs> and if I have my girlfriend's character on my other Xbox picking up all this stuff out of the floor, I'm getting like really good uh, loaded element, you know? Okay, this freaking. There we go. We're getting attacked now. All right. Hello, please leave me alone. There you go. Can I stop being all buggy and stuff? We just got to keep an eye on Avrello because, as you know, he's asleep. So he takes time times 10 more damage. So we don't want that. As you can see right here, they're getting stuck. Even though I'm shooting at them, it's not working. So I got to get really close to them. Like so. And then look down, just like I said. And then look, boom, we killed him. Easy peasy. Ooh, is that a rock trick? That is a rock trick. Okay, so let's summon our Olivello right here. Now that we can... We're going to put him in turret mode before he runs off. We're going to put him on high. Oh, boy. Okay, I thought this thing was going to attack me. Look, you see? For some reason, it's bugged. Now, I got to get really close to him. We're going to shoot him. You don't have to be stressed out. I wouldn't stress that. Oh, that was a 115. I wouldn't stress so much. About, um, you know, like the Velos shooting the element notes because they're only doing 20 damage. It's far less damage that than the corrupted things are going to do if they get even close enough. So we're going to put this on high. He is or she is on aggressive. So that's good. And then we just got to wait for the other one to wake up and then we'll be Gucci after that. So this is basically my setup. Now, like I said, you could have one. You don't have to have two like me. One would just work just fine. You just got to be more attentive um, when it comes to you writing the mana. <clears throat> I know some people will tell you, nah, it's better off 
for you to be riding the, you know, this guy because, you know, he's going to be, you're going to be able to like shoot better and stuff like that. But I think you got a better accuracy with the mana armor. Not only that, you have better movability. And on top of that, the manas, um, you always pump in stamina into the mana armor. So the stamina won't run out as fast as it would if you were to be riding a freaking Velo. The Velo would just like, you know, would run out of mana. I mean, out of freaking stam really quickly. Okay, so is this Velo gonna like wake up? I haven't really tried to go anywhere or look for the ones that are hidden because I feel like there's four hostiles. I know that they must be on the other side of this wall or they're still like coming. But I don't want to do that yet until I wake this up because the third wave, or I guess you could say quote unquote second wave, is going to be like brutal. Like, you know, they're going to come out like a bunch of Terry's and all crap and stuff. And then Hellboy's still sleeping. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, can I really not? change his behavior so when he wakes up damn it dude all right apparently this velo's putting in work over here all right well i can't wait too long so like let's just kill these things over here as you can see like i said there's two over here so that brings it down to like what two more that are missing and then the last two are right here there's one and then there's two as you can see this is why i like the mana armor because you just have better mobility with it I literally just went back there. It would have took me a little bit just to get there with if I was riding the Velos. So this is why. Okay, so they didn't take too much damage. <coughs> so I'm just going to wrap this up. Put this on fast put, fast pace mode. And then I'll come back to you guys when we finish. Ooh, here comes the Stegos. Let's go. All right, boys and girls. So we're back. So this is a common thing that happens. So <laughs> I would say this is a huge thing to look out for whenever you crash because you know if you're an xbox one generation you're gonna crash a lot on this map this map is not stable and arc at the moment is not the most stable game in the world on xbox at least so crashes are a thing and the thing about elemental nodes for some reason or even drops orbital supply drops like if you crash you would just um as you can see like the thing just despawns i don't know if it's because there's nobody in the area there is only like four people including me so three other people besides me on the server right now so i don't know if it's like because there's nobody in the area so it renders out or like what it is but it's gone you know like so it really sucks like major balls but you know it is what it is we're just gonna have to <coughs> put these things on a pokeball and then head back out again you know that's gonna that's the only thing we can do all right so shit's about to be lit as fuck out here because apparently i went around the whole map and apparently like no freaking nodes spawn but a bunch of these orbital supply drops spawned in so what i usually do i don't know if it works but what i usually do is that i would get close to these things um i know that they just dropped but like can you please open hello there you go. Okay, there you go. So, once these shits activate, what I do is that I just, just like the element notes, like I said, if you go away from there from render distance, they're going to despawn. So, what I like to do is that I like to get really close to these things. Just enough to activate them. And then I go away from them because they will despawn. So, when they despawn, it increases, it will, it brings a chance for an open field because where the orbital supply drops are at that is exactly where a, <coughs> a freaking um an element node was spawned as you remember there was a, a legendary drop right here and now it's gone so that's good there's no remember there's nobody on the server right now so these things will render out there's only like three other people besides me so that's a thing all right so let's keep going we're gonna keep walking around and seeing and then i'm gonna do one more spin around the block if i don't see anything that we're just gonna go farm element with the dodic and i'm gonna show you my path which is a quick easy path and you could get anything like 13 to 15 element easy as well as electronics and if you need crystal for you know tech tier then you get crystal as well or just for crystal for c4 that's all i think about i'm like why do i want to check out tech tier my base when element is so easy to get here and somebody could just go shoot me with a element rifle and break my base you know we got like five more remaining we're just trying to look for them now as you know like they freaking go missing a lot of times it's so annoying but it is what it is um 
I can't seem to find where the hell they are. Let's kill this car now. Sometimes I like to kill whatever corrupted dinos are around the area because sometimes it could be them. But normally when it's a normal, like, easy mode, it would usually be, like, level, like, odd numbers usually. It would be, like, level, f I don't know, like, sevens, level fives. Not even level fives. Like, some random-ass numbers. How many more? We got one more. One more. The good thing about this area that I'm in right now is that they die whenever they go into the lake. So, like, literally half the work is done for me already. On top of the fact that I got two velos, so the velos are shooting at all times, basically. So, they're basically cleaning up the floor. All right. So, where the hell is the last one? Sometimes what I would even do is that I would even just stand right here. I'll go to the bathroom and I'll come back and it'll be like, you finished the wave. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. So, having two velos on aggressive turret mode is definitely a way to go. There it is, and we finished it. Ballin'. All right. So now, just like I said before, when you want to harvest these things, you want to start with the outside ones first. So we want to start right here. So you can see that this thing did take damage. So, of course, they break easily, especially with a max damage pick. Bam, you see? This one didn't take so much damage. This one took a lot of damage. So now, of course, these things are going to take damage to the max, no matter what. You do get elemental dust, you get um, shards, sometimes you get element as well. It really depends. Times two is the best because you're going to get more bang for your buck. You could do this during times one. Now, if you're on small tribe, of course, you're going to be doing a good time. You're going to have a good time. So this is the problem that I have right now. I can't go. You see, I can't go in there because I'm going to take damage. So this is another thing why I don't like doing the element here because I miss out on all that element right there. Not to mention the fact that some of the element is right here behind all of this. So it kind of sucks. I can't harvest that element because it's too close to the water. See? I just get damage. Damn it. Alright. So I guess the only thing I can't do is... Is that it? Yeah, no. So the only thing I can do is just harvest this element. So, of course, if you um, if you weren't like me and you didn't do it like where I oh boy, here we go. We're gonna pass out. Come on, dude. Do I have berries? Yes, I do. Please don't do this. Oh man, dude. That's the only, that's another bad part about doing it right here where all these um, yellow things are at. It's so hot over here. Even with like my Mastercraft slash Ascendant Gilly, like it's still hot. They're like, not like blazing hot where you lose HP, but hot enough where you just pass out. So of course I'm not getting a lot of elemental dust because I am missing a lot of element nodes. If this would have been in a better place, I would get far more than I would tell you. Like I, like I said, I get usually plus 20. So things like this, if you want to do them, you could do them. I just wanted to kind of finish it just to show you guys how easy it is to do it. But in reality, in hindsight, if it would have been up to me, I would have just activated this and move on. Why? Because I want this to despawn. And look, when you hit the middle, all of the other ones despawn. That's why it's preferably for you to do the outside ones and then do the middle one. So let's return these Pokemons back into their Pokeball. And then I'm going to show you guys the route that I take in order to do um, the elemental dust. All right, boys and girls, we just came back from one of the runs. So as you can see, this is all the element we have to craft still. We got four extra element. We do have a lot of elements saved up. Like I said, I am planning on um, doing a big project. So I'm saving up like 200 element. I think 200 should be enough. Technically, the number would be 166, 69, something like that, in order for me to do all the stuff that I need. But I don't, yeah, I don't know if, um, I think 200 should be enough just in case I mess up some stuff in case I need to do some stuff more. But yes, all right, so I'm going to show you how to do the run. As you can see, I'm in the city right now. 
I'm heading towards this way right now. And I'm going to show you guys where I start my run. I hit, I think it's like one, two, three, four, four, five spots. I don't hit the post lights because honestly, that shit is annoying as hell. Even if you're dual farming, now with the RG being broken, like, you're not going to be able to pick up no Dodic. And I've seen people doing it with an Anki, but honestly, I tried that with an Anki, and I tried using my girlfriend's character, and, like, you know, kind of like when I do metal runs, and, bro, no, no, we're not having it. We were getting, like, nothing, like, nothing at all. And Anki has way higher million than the Dodic. But I was getting trash. But I'll come back to you guys when I get over there. All right, so I'm sure you've seen this on my videos before. My element run starts right here. Boop. Right there. We drop the Dodic. Before this, I hit a couple of benches on the way here. Honestly, I wouldn't advise you guys to hit those. That's why I didn't put them on the video because, like, they're so buggy. But these are not that buggy. So you can see I just slap it. I don't have to do, like, some weird configuration just to hit, the, hit this. I'm going to say hit this. But, yeah. So I'm going to leave you guys off. With this, um, with this little um, element run, this is the best way. Like I said, it's only I only hit like five spots. So if you guys want to like slow this down and check it out, um, if you guys were wondering where I am in the map, I will show you right now. This is where I am in the map in the corner. As you can see, our metal run usually starts right there. You see the bones right there in an angle, and I'm right here on top of the skyscraper, whatever you want to call it. So before I leave you guys off. I wanted to just remind you guys that if you guys remember when I said on this weekend, if you guys tuned in on this weekend, I thought about doing this thing that some of you have actually brought to my attention of like you guys sending me clips of like whether it's PvP funny moments, whether it's PvE funny moments, like the Dota getting stuck somewhere or like you like, I don't know, getting one over the team and stuff like that. I was thinking about you guys sending me those clips and I could react to them and then we could all like laugh about them and like, you know, talk about them in the comments and it would just be a lot of fun because um, unfortunately I want to do giveaways, but unfortunately I'm not in the state right now where I could do giveaways. I don't have like the best RGs. I don't have the best things. And as much as I want to give you guys mana garments and stuff like that, I don't want to do that because it's going to basically give the server number away. You know, somebody kills you like now my server number is out there and I'm trying to keep people away from the server as much as possible so this was something that i kind of thought about i was like you know what this would be a good idea because i know some of you not all of you are trying to do like trying to get i guess you could say in cloud like you guys are trying to start your own youtube you guys are starting like starting out like your own like instagram or anything like that this would be my way of giving back to you guys the community you know i'm not gonna say i'm the biggest youtuber in the world but I do get a decent amount of views, and what better way for me to react to this stuff? Maybe you guys could send me some good PvP clips, and maybe I could learn from it. Since a lot of you guys like to talk trash, be like, you suck at PvP, I just want you to know that. You know, why don't you send me a good PvP? Like, show me what PvP really looks like, you know? And for those of you that are, don't have, like, a lot of PvP clips, then show me, like, what you think is funny. Be like, you know, this moment was, fu this moment was really funny to me. You should look at it, I want to see, because... I just, I don't know, this will be my way of giving back to you guys. So the way that you can send me the clips will be either through Xbox Gamer Tag. So for those of you that don't know, my Xbox Gamer Tag is the same thing as my name, BioLaser. So you can send it through Xbox. Make sure that if you do it, make sure to put, um, if you have a channel that you want me to plug in or anything like that, make sure to leave your channel, YouTube channel name, or if you want, just leave your Gamer Tag name. Remember. This will be up on YouTube, so if you don't want people to know your server, just make sure to like hide or just let me know. Be like, hey man, um, would you be able to hide my server number and stuff like that? So then that way I know to hide the server number or try my best with my editing to try to see if I could like kind of like blur it out or something like that. If you don't care if people know your server number and you're like, I don't care, pull up, then you know, that's, that's a different thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I think that this will be a, a fun kind of like series that we could do of like me reacting to your guys's clip you know and also for you guys to get some you know some i guess you could say um recognition recognition i'm saying that completely wrong guys stay in school 
some recognition that's what i'm trying to say um you know because i know a lot of you like have clips that are amazing that are like you can't believe that that happened and you clipped it but like you only have your friends viewed it which is like five people you know or anything like that now is your chance for me to be able to feature that on the channel for you guys so a lot of people can see it not only would i plug your name on it be like this is so and so's gamer tag but this is also you know his thing and it just it would be fun that way you could get friends and people see that people are like oh i like how he does it i want to invite him to my tribe blah 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 and stuff like that i don't know it a lot of things could come out of this nothing but positive also just remember that there's going to be a lot of trash talk mostly coming from me so yeah so if you guys are pvp gods i'm just going to call you guys hackers um i'm just going to call you guys your cheaters and there's no way you could be that good at the game bs you guys are cheating you're a single player there's no way this is official. I'm going to say all the stuff that I get hit at with. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave you guys off with this, with the leftover of this element run. And I hope you guys, this helps out. And I hope to see you guys on tomorrow's episode. And I hope you guys tune into tonight's live stream of like New Year's Eve. I know some of you have told me that it was like, why don't you spend it with your family? But I'm in Colombia. I don't really have family here besides Ella and Luna. So me and, me and Ella are probably going to be taking shots on live stream. I hope to see you guys there. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.